Hi, I'm Dr. Erica Warren, and I created this card game, Focus, to help others exercise and strengthen cognition through fun, interactive games. The game addresses working memory, attention to detail, stamina, response inhibition, as well as sustained attention and mental shifting. Players compete to find matching cards, but it's not as easy as it sounds. Clues in the card share the rule for that card, but different cards have different rules. For one to four players, this game can benefit students with ADHD, learning disabilities, executive functioning disorder, as well as the head injured and the elderly. Focus is a fabulous way to strengthen attention and stamina while having fun. And now for an explanation of the cards. All 30 cards include a color name and an opposing text color printed twice on each card, once right side up and once upside down. When playing, always focus on the word that is right side up at the bottom of the card. In addition, the background of each card offers either horizontal or vertical gray stripes. When the lines are horizontal and stretch from left to right, that tells you to focus on what the word says. When the lines are vertical and go top to bottom, that tells you to focus on the color of the word. Let's look at some sample cards. Sample card one. We will focus on the bottom word. Notice that the lines in the background are vertical. This tells us to look at the color of the word. Therefore, the answer to this card is orange. Now let's look at sample card two. Again, we focus on the bottom word. This time, the lines in the background are horizontal. This tells us to read what the word says. The answer to this card is yellow. And here is how to play. Shuffle the cards evenly amongst the players and place a single card on the table face up. This is the discard pile. The cards are held in each player's hands face down and flipped over onto a player's pile. Each player will have their own player's pile. Players want to move their cards from the player's pile to the discard pile. This, however, can only be done if the results of the cards are the same. If not, the card remains in the player's pile. In this example, player one's card has vertical lines that tells us to look at the color, green. This does not match the discard pile that has vertical lines that tells us to look at the color, yellow. However, player two does have a match. Their horizontal lines tells us to read what the word says, yellow. As soon as there is a match, the player must shout out, focus. The other player checks the two cards to see if they are a match. If correct, the player that shouted out focus rotates their card 180 degrees and places it on the discard pile. If, however, they made an error, they have to take their card back and also take a card from the competing player's hand. There are a few other important rules. When the players have used all the cards from their hand, they pick up the discard pile, rotate them 180 degrees, and continue play. Also, if players have multiple cards in their player's pile, after moving a card to the discard pile, they compare the card that was underneath that card before flipping over another card from their hand. Finally, if neither player can make a play and they have both sorted through all of their cards, take a card from the bottom of the discard pile and place it on the top of the discard pile. The object of the game. Finally, the object of the game is to be the first player to move all of their cards into the discard pile. And now for a demonstration of the single player rules. Hi, this is Dr. Erica Warren again, and I'm here today to show you a quick demonstration of the single player rules of focus. You're going to have two piles. You're going to have a player's pile and a discard pile, and the object of the game is to get rid of as many cards from the player's pile over to the, to the discard pile. Unlike the rules for two or more players, you actually never take any cards out of the discard pile. So the first thing I'm going to do is just review the cards. You have an upside down word and a right side up word in both of these. You always want to focus on the one that is right side up at the bottom. 
also you'll notice that there are these very, very subtle gray lines, which are probably easier to see in person. When they're going top to bottom or vertically, you want to focus, that tells you what the rule is for the card, and you want to focus on what the card, the color of, of the word, which would be yellow. Now when the lines are going across, and I'll always use my finger in this demonstration just to show the direction of the lines. When the lines are going horizontally or from left to right, you want to focus on what the word says. And the word says purple. And yellow and purple are not the same color, so you can't play the cards. So you flip over another card as you're because you're holding the rest of the cards in your hand. So the line's going across, so I would say it says blue, it says purple. It is purple, it says purple. We have a match. So you would say focus. Take the card, flip it over. You don't have to say focus when you're playing individually, but you do when you're playing with two or more players. And then you continue. This says blue, this is red. This says purple, this is red. This is red, this is red. We have another, another match. So you take the card again, flip it over, and continue play. First you want to always check the card underneath this says purple, this is orange, this says green, this is orange, this is yellow, this is orange, and you continue play until you've used all of the cards out of your hand, at which point you would actually pick them all up, flip them over, and continue play. This is pink, this is orange. This says purple. This is orange. This says orange. This is orange. We have another match, so I would go ahead and take the card, flip it, and again continue play. And that is my demonstration of focus. You can purchase Focus as a printable digital download in my online store, Good Sensory Learning.